local, late breaking. This is WDSU News at 5. Well, she needs to get into the car vehicle. Are you going to be helping with paying any of the money back for the upgrade? Excuse me, sorry. Thank you. Excuse me, thank sorry. You. Excuse me, thank you. WDSU gets some answers tonight from Mayor LaToya Cantrell's office. The topics, high travel expenses, and the recent recall effort. Yeah, that petition now has more than 2,000 signatures. The mayor dodged all questions today, as you just saw, but WDSU investigative reporter Cassie Sherm got an exclusive interview with the mayor's communications director. Cassie, what did he have to say about all of these situations? Well, Travers, I still have a lot of questions. I wanted to ask the mayor if she was going to repay the city when it comes to her upgraded travels. I also wanted to ask her what her response was to the recall efforts and the concerns from the community, but she did not decide to answer any of those questions at today's event. But I was able to talk to her communications team, and they tell me the mayor isn't focusing on this recall effort at all. In fact, she's focusing on the city and doing what the job of the mayor is supposed to do, working forward and helping the citizens. Now, those efforts in the recall say there's at least 12 reasons they want mayor recalled, including mishandling of the French Quarter security, mishandling of relocation of City Hall, a crime crisis, NOPD staffing issues, just to name a few. Now, one of the reasons written on the petition for the recall state she, quote, is not executing the responsibilities of her position. Her communications team director, Gregory Joseph, says they disagree and say the mayor continues to try to help the city of New Orleans and shows it with her actions. The mayor and the police chief have been walking around talking to police officers at every district for roll call 7 a.m., 7 p.m., hearing what the officers have to say, and we're going to act on some of the, the, the concerns that the officers raise. And so we're going to be focused on public safety. We've got millions of dollars in ARPA funding that is designated for to public safety. And we're going to continue to do things like we did here today, making sure that people understand that there's a level of safety preparedness as we're in the middle of hurricane season. Now, the mayor's administration says she will continue to focus on the concerns of the citizens and will show action in response to that. At 6 o'clock, I take a closer look and ask a question many people are wondering right now. When a lot of people are saying she isn't doing enough and that's the reason why she needs to be recalled, what their response was to that question and many more answers. Reporting here in New Orleans, I'm Cassie Sherm. Back to you. Cassie, the mayor's campaign actually sent out a statement about the recall. They said that this petition was politically motivated, politically backed. Is that something that the mayor supports, that statement? That's right. That statement came out yesterday and they said it was Republicly backed maneuver and the people that are behind it have an agenda. And when I asked the mayor's office whether she backed that statement or not, they say she does, but she did not write any of that statement and she was not a part of that process. Reporting here at City Hall, I'm Cassie Sherm. Back to you. All right, Cassie, thank you. Cassie also spoke with the mayor's office about several other issues. We have those items for discussion coming up at 6 o'clock, or you can get all the information on our website. That's WDSU.com. More breaking news at 5. Mayor LaToya Cantrell and the NOPD have hired a former high-ranking NYPD officer to come in to help revamp the embattled police department. Investigative reporter Aubrey Killian joins us live in the newsroom. Aubrey, I know you've done a deep dive into this. Tell us about the person hired and his police history. Hey there, Travers. So it's confirmed that Fausto Pichardo is coming to the New Orleans Police Department to help consult the NOPD. So this comes as the city is dealing with a rise in crime and a dire need for.